Today, we're going to have some fun with Maori sticks. Now, if you've never tried Maori sticks, they're super fun. They make a lot of fun rhythm noise to add to your underlying piano music. Um, you can buy Maori sticks. They're pretty expensive. You can also make your own just with some PVC pipe. And I have a tutorial for how to do that on my blog, primarysinging.com, plus all the directions for how to do this activity and fun extension ideas to try. But I thought I would show you like a visual of um, the different actions for using Maori sticks. On the church website, lds.org, you can actually find a blog post that tells you the five actions of using Maori sticks. And there's an actual sequence that goes with them. But we are going to use just a few of them today. And I will show you some of them so you can get an idea. All right, so the first one is to clap them or clap them. Either way works. The next would be you would be sitting on the floor would be to tap them on the ground right beside you. If they're sitting on a chair, you can just tap their lap. And then the next would be to drum forward on the ground in front of you. Again, if they're sitting in a chair, they can lightly tap the back of the seat in front of them if they're being careful and observant of that. Or you can mix it up and have them put one of their sticks to the left for their neighbor and their other stick to the right and tap the neighbor beside them if you need to avoid hitting other children. That's a good alternative for that one. And then the last one that they do is a toss and a partner toss. So they toss one across to their partner, which I don't think is probably going to work very well with the young children that we have. But if you have older senior children and you want to give that one a try, definitely go for it. They'll have a lot of fun trying it. It might turn a little crazy in primary. So I will be using Maori sticks to teach the song, I Want to Live the Gospel. And you can follow along with my actions or you can adjust them a little bit to make them unique to your primary. So what we will do is we will have the children group into partnerships of two. So you want two children paired together. If you have that third extra child, you can either pair them with a teacher or yourself, or you can just make a group of three and it'll be just fine. So the actions that each child will do is they will clap the sticks in front of them and they can do either kind, it's fine. And then they'll pat either their lap or the floor. If they're sitting on the floor, it will make a much stronger sound if they do it on the floor. Um, and then they'll clap again here. And then they'll each bring a stick forward and you'll have one child be the designated clapper or, you know, tapper. And the other child will just hold their stick steady so that they're both not trying to clap at the same time. So if I'm bringing my stick forward and my partner, then clap on mine with their stick. And then we'd return, clap, tap, clap, clap, tap, clap. Now, if you want to mix it up or make it a little more challenging, that fourth action, you can, instead of passing and keep it kind of a solo game that they do on their own, you can do the toss. Or you can keep it partners and you can toss across. Like I said, watch out for a little bit of craziness if you try that one. I think it'll be really fun, but it might get a little wild. Maybe you do it for one time at the very end as a little reward for really awesome singers. All right, let me show you the actions with the music. Head over to my blog. There's a quick link right here to get you to this post where you can download a free printable guide to go with it and also some more fun extension activities and ways to play. We'll see you next time.